So when I first arrived here, one of the things that I noticed was that there is a great interest from the industry, from startups and, and from companies to have their emerging and early stage AI tools validated and tested in an academic environment. And we, as a department, were very well positioned in the sense that we have the data, we have the expertise, we have the interest, and we have the ability to do that, but we did not have a platform. And we were happy to find in Carpool an end-to-end -end solution to deal with all those uh, uh, issues and all those stages in AI development. When my team deploys AI at Enrich, um, we have various vendors that we work with. And with each vendor, we have to go through a process of discovery, understanding the scope, understanding the integrations, the technology that's, that's needed, the workflow. And um, with Carpool, we, it's, it's more of a plug and play because once you have it set up, um, then adding different apps has um, been more rapid because of uh, the support we get from Carpool. I would say it's currently the backbone of our industry and research collaborations in clinical AI in the sense that it enables us to manage our data sets in a single platform and in the same platform, we can annotate those data sets based on each use case. Right? And then as soon as the, the models are trained somewhere else or they are trained by our company, the companies that interact with us, we can bring those models inside again and test them one against the other in the same platform uh, in their validation models. And the models that perform the best, we can also implement them to our packs in the same platform. So. Uh, this is an optimal scenario where we can, we can implement all the pipeline from inception to deployment. Um, well, as a radiologist who generally works in the dark, I'll take this opportunity to say that I think that the future is bright for our collaborative um, relationship with Carpool. You know, originally it's been pretty much working with AZ Med and, and the fracture detection tool Rayvolve, but there are a lot of other opportunities and tools that Carpool has to offer. And some of my colleagues have been um, working with Carpool about potential um, applications and use cases such as for optimization of MRI protocols um, and some pediatric tools, for example. So I imagine that as more tools um, are adopted, uh, with Carpool and with our clinical team who is you know interested in getting their hands dirty in some of these AI tools that we will be able to easily integrate them and build upon the you know the baseline relationship that we already have.